Okay. Good morning. My name is Graham Davis. I'm an instructor at the Salt Lake Tennis and Health Club. And this is Friday, 9.15 a.m. Pilates. Welcome, Susan. Welcome, Sandy, Jennifer, and to Jennifer. Okay, so come to kneeling. And if by chance you need to give yourself a pad, you can take the middle of your mat and kind of bring it towards you. So then you have like a double or triple layer there. And I'm gonna do that just to be safe with my knees. So about hip distance apart. Toes flat behind you. We're gonna bring our hands to our hips and we're just gonna hinge our seat back. Keep your spine straight, hips will find the heels and we come forward. And you'll find a little bit of the glute action right as you come up. And then those quads are gonna kind of really come down just a little bit and they're gonna pull you back up. So we'll go inhale back, hips meet the heels. Exhale, pull that forward so you get a little bit of abdominal. You can feel that under your fingertips. Thumbs are forward, not tucked back. The palms just right in front. Exhale, come forward. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, pull the abdominals in just slightly. We're just barely warming that up. And inhale back. Press into the toes just a little bit into the floor. That will give you a little bit more. Assistance. Exhale, coming forward. Keep the eyes on the horizon. Hips coming back to the heels. And then we're going to give a little bit more of an upgrade where the hips now don't let them find the heels. Hover right over. You feel that in your quads. And then exhale, come forward. We'll do five, just like that hovering. You're going to inhale through the nose. And then exhale through your mouth like you're blowing. Going through a little straw. So it's just a little purse of the lips. Two more. All right, bring the arms out in front of you. This time we're maybe a couple of inches. And then coming back, exhale forward, just to that straight spine. Notice if your back bending, pull in the abdominals, push the glutes forward. Inhale back, exhale forward. Inhale back, exhale forward. Inhale back, we got three more. Exhale forward, inhale back, exhale forward. The last one, hold it back. See as far back as you can go, quads are really lit up. I'll face you so you can see. Keep the hips the same, pointing forward. We're gonna inhale, twist right. Exhale, back center, hips stay even. Inhale to the left, exhale, center. Inhale, right, exhale, center. Those quads are feeling a little bit of a burn and the femur bones or thigh bones are pressing into the mat keeping the pelvis sturdy as you rotate. Three more each side, inhale, rotate right, exhale, center. Inhale, left, exhale, center. Notice if the arms are coming down or lifting up, straight out to the side, inhale, right, inhale, left. One more each side. Finding a little range of motion each time. And coming back. Center. This one's a little fun, a little tricky. I really like it. We're going to kind of combine our hinge back and our rotation. So you're going to rotate to the right. Right hand drops to that right right heel. Reach up. You find a little bit of the back bend. Breathing here in. Exhale, and then inhale. Come up. Find that T. Rotate back. Center. Inhale. Left. Exhale. Bend back. Inhale, stay. Exhale, pull the abs in. Inhale, come up. Exhale, center. Inhale, twist. Exhale, draw back. Find that heel. Maybe it's just the thigh. Maybe it's just your hip, depending on your range of motion. Inhale. Exhale, pull the abs in. Inhale, twist. 
untwist, coming back center. Inhale, left. Exhale, back. Inhale, reach for the ceiling, press into that heel. Exhale, pull the abs in. Inhale, come up. Exhale, center. One more each side. Turn so you see a different view. Inhale, right. Exhale, back. Inhale, reach. And last one, to exhale, back bend, inhale, reach, exhale, pull the abs in, prepare yourself to come up, inhale, exhale, center, really nice. Come to all fours on your mat. Same thing here, if you're having any knee troubles, take that mat, roll, pull it back, and give yourself a little more cushion. And we're gonna find our cat-cow mobility, so inhale, Look up towards the ceiling, bring the tail up, drop. Feel the tail turning under for the head, turning down. Pull in tight on the abdominals, press the feet into the floor. Inhale, left. Exhale. Inhale, drop the chest, drop the belly, lift the head, lift the tail. Exhale, roll the spine off of the C curve. Really find that tail under a little bit of glute at the end, and then reverse the order. Feel that undulation in the spine as the tail comes up. Drop the sternum so that thoracic middle back really bends, and then press the shoulders away from the spine or shoulder blades, rounding the back, and then pull those blades together as the spine drops down, push into the floor, lift the head. Three more. Inhale through the nose. Find that strong release, exhale. Push into the hands, push into the tops of the feet. One more full round, cat cow. And we find neutral spine, tabletop. Reach the right arm forward. We have opposite arm limb balance or spinal balance. Left leg kicks back. You're gonna feel those abdominals kick in. You need to bring your right hand Pull that belly in a little bit tighter. Push into the standing hand and leg. Lift that back heel. And we're gonna pulse here on the back leg for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Heel reaching, four, three, two, one. Elbow and knee come together, find that cat spine. <sighs> Breathe out. Hold it here, inhale, reach. And we pulse for 10, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, elbow and knee, find the cat spine, you're pressing into those limbs that are contacting the mat. Inhale, reach, three sets on each side. Now we pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it up, exhale, pull it in. And release, find neutral. Left arm forward, right leg back. Pull in on the abdominals, that left hand can just give a little check that you're pulling your pubic bone towards your nose. And we pulse for 10 on the back leg. Nine, seven, five, three, one, exhale, cat spine, elbow to knee. Push out that straw. Inhale, reach limbs. Pulse for 10. Eight, six, four, two. Exhale, pull it in. Push into the knee that you're standing on and the right hand. Inhale, last set. 10, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, I can count it, not with my own rhythm. Exhale, pull it in. You may have gotten more on that. Right side, that's okay. And release spine, neutral spine. You're gonna release the right hand from the mat and bring it to your right shoulder. Pull the elbow to the side and reach it out. We're gonna inhale, rotate spine, and then exhale, come right back to that neutral. Inhale, rotate. Elbows coming up to the ceiling and behind your back. Exhale, coming back. Inhale, rotate, breathe in some oblique. Action in this. Rotation of the thoracic spine. Exhale, center. Four more. Press into that left arm, connect the shoulder, elbow, and wrist. Go slow with this. It's not a large range of motion, so you really want to find each little nuance. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, center. Right hand comes down, switching to the opposite side. You'll see my elbow come up as I rotate, inhale, and I'm not lifting my spine and my head. We want to stay fairly tabletop, so we really get that rotation. Exhale, center. Inhale, rotate, six more. Exhale, center. Full palm pressing into the mat, connecting shoulder, elbow, wrist. Three more. Really feel that oblique work on this left side from hip to shoulder. You're also feeling a little bit of a cross from the right hip to this left shoulder. And we got one more. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, come back center. All right, bring yourself onto your back. Swing your legs out in front of you. Bring your hips towards the back, edge of your mat, and rolling down. We're going to find dead bugs, some of the opposite of what we just did. Legs and arms to the ceiling. So a little more abdominals and a different relationship to gravity. Opposite way we reach. Right arm up overhead, left leg down, hover them. Exhale, hold. And this is a little bit more request of our abdominals. And noticing that that lumbar spine, lumbar means your low back, those big vertebrae you find your pelvis, that you're not imprinting into the mat. There's a little bit of a space, so we're in neutral. And then opposite side. And whatever side you're on, that's all right, if we're not in the same order. Inhale, reach limbs up overhead and down. Exhale, pull that in. We got five more each side. Find that straw exhale. Inhale through the nose. Pull in the abs. Right then left. We got three more each side. Last set. I will be honest, sometimes I really don't know how to count and I might miss, <laughs> we might do one more the next day. And that's all right, okay. Bring the knees in. You're gonna inhale, lift, find this little ball C shape where you're really curling in on the abs, pulling the thighs to you. Taking a couple breaths here. We're gonna come into our footwork. So bring your hands behind your head. We have a little bit of a cradle, wide elbows. And then zip your legs together, bring the big toes to touch, and then pull the knees in. You're gonna curl those toes, almost like you're trying to pick up a pen. We're gonna do some footwork, so press out. Inhale, come back. Exhale, press. Inhale in, this is bend and stretch, but mostly footwork. So you're really focusing on the feet. Neutral spines, so you're not imprinting into the floor. Push the feet away, curl the toes, create that little C shape in the feet. 
almost like you're pushing a leg press. Three more. And it's cradled into the hands, abs are on. Last one. Pull the knees in, this time flex the feet and separate the legs two or three inches. Creates a little bit more of a dynamic tension and each leg taking its own weight. Press the feet away, this time with flexed toes coming towards your nose. Look at that little gap between the big toes and see if you can keep the legs in that three inch separation. Neutral spine, pelvis is not rocking, so that means our abs are on. Two, flex those feet. Last one, good. Pull that in, rotate externally so the heels come together, the big toes separate. Footwork, third set. Push through, legs will come together. But you have this external rotation. Knees go a little wide. Legs come together as you press out. Big toes away. Keep those heels locked together. Inner thigh, hello. Three, two, and one. Press that away. Pull it in. Rest the head. Grab around the shins. Take a breath. Inhale, curl up. Find that seat shape. Extend the knees. Hands behind the head. Wide elbows. Shaky legs. Heels go away. Inhale. Pull the legs back. Double leg. Press the knees together. Press those ankle bones together. Big toes together. Inhale away. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale away. Exhale, pull it in. Last one. This is hard. Exhale, roll the head back down and holding the knees. Last one, double leg stretch. Inhale, find that curl. You're gonna reach your hands up overhead and press your feet away. Exhale, find the ball. Inhale, reach. Exhale, come in. Inhale, reach. Three, two, one, hold it out. Ooh. Exhale, pull it in. Roll the head down. We got one more, and that is our crisscross oblique set. Extend your right leg long. Keep that leg hovering. Hands flying and cradle the head. Twist that right shoulder to that left knee. Inhale, alternate or switch. Exhale, shoulder to right knee. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, switch, exhale. Three, two, last one. Ooh, that burns. Find that little C shape and then just roll to your right onto your side. Keep the knees bent. Hips, knees, ankles stacked long under arm, and then bend that hand to support the head. Hand just in front of the chest, and we find clam shell open. Feel a little bit of a resistance. Resisting the range of motion. Open, inhale, exhale. So nice and slow. This really worked. Our our obliques. So really feel this rotation in the outer hip right here. Ankles stay together. Be careful that the hip is not rolling back. 
that's staying the same, and it's really happening in our femur thigh bone. So you almost want to press that left hip forward so you can really activate our glute medius, glute minimus. Three, two, hold it out and then ex extend the foot, bring it back, feel that spiraling motion in the thighs still happening, so you're still having that external rotation. I like to bring my elbow to my hip so I can really stay on that so that it's not rolling back. And inhale, exhale. Inhale, extend, exhale back. Really feel that in the outer thigh. You're still rotating. Three, two, one. Extend one more, hold it there, and circles. Take any direction first, we'll go the opposite. Make a small circle, make a control that hip and elbow if that's pulling there, they're contacted, hip is rolling forward, thigh is rolling out, and reverse. Let this right side really open into the floor, stretching into that shoulder. And last circle, bend that thigh, and bring the foot in front of you, extend the bottom leg for our inner thigh series. You can take this foot behind the leg. I like to get a nice little stretch, hold that foot. And then we have 10, lift, lift. Inner thigh, eight. Six, flex the foot, toes towards your nose. Four, three, two, one. Hold it up halfway, lift a little higher. Come back to that halfway mark. Eight, seven, six. Shoulders relaxed. Three, two, one. Hold it up. We got some pulsing. Ten. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slow that down. Roll to your stomach and your opposite side. I won't show my back to you, so I will switch. Extend that left long arm and then bend the elbow. Support the head, right arm in front, hips, knees, ankles stacked. Inhale, open. Find that resistance as you come in and as you go out. You can find this elbow into the hip. You can feel if that hip is rolling back. You can feel this external rotation in the hip. Femur bone, right there. Open with resistance. If you're pushing, Someone's hand away and open. We're imagining that that thigh is like 10,000 pounds heavier than you think it is. And then as it comes in, really resist. Three, two, breathing normal. Nice, we're gonna hold it out on the last one and extend the foot. Keep this thigh rolling out. So sometimes the tendency is that inner foot will drop, keep that rolling out. Inhale to extend, exhale, foot comes back. That's our flexion, extension, flexion, extension. You release that left side into the floor, let's stretch out in that shoulder. That's your tricep and your lat opening up. Feel this back. Part of your hip, rolling that femur bone towards the back and keeping the hip aligned, stacked over the left. Three, two, make that low burn back there. That's what we want. Hold it out and circles. Either direction, point the toes. And you can even press this bottom thigh into the floor 
to give a little more support to that right leg. Three, two, one, reverse. Keep spiraling that femur. Ooh, it shakes. Three, two, and the last circle. Pull that leg back in and reach for the foot, bring it in front or behind the leg, extend the bottom leg for our inner thigh. 10 lifts, inhale. Seven, flex the toes towards your nose. So that leg now is not rotating, it's fairly parallel to the floor. Four, three, two, one, getting a nice stretch on that other hip as we're pulling it forward. Hold the inner leg halfway up, and then lift higher, coming back to that halfway mark. For 10, eight, six, four, two, last one, hold it up, pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lift it up high and then drop it nice and slow. Roll to your belly for our prone, Series, you're gonna bring your left hand in front, forearm across the mat, quad stretch, reach for that back thigh. If you'd like, you can stay lifted or you can bring the forehead down. Taking a couple breaths here, pressing into the underhand, and just passively opening this right hip. So you can totally relax it as that right hand holds your ankle. And then inhale, lift, kick into that hand, lift the thigh off the floor. You're gonna feel that right hip press down and point the left toes back and away from you. Avoiding any pinching in our low back. And we're gonna pulse lifting our back leg. So flex those toes for 10, nine, eight, seven, pressing the sole of the foot up to the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Switch arms, switch grip. Let the forehead come down, release that right hip and left. Passive stretch on the quad. You wanna pull. In on that ankle you can, or you can just walk your hand down the shin to get a little more sensation. Inhale, press into the forearm underneath the forehead, lift, and then kick into that hand, lift the quad off the mat. And we pulse for 10, flex the foot, sole the foot to the ceiling, point the right toes back and away. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop it down. Head to the mat, both forearms in front of you. We're coming to rocker, otherwise known as bow pose in yoga. In boat pose, we don't really rock the boat, but we are in here. This is maybe my second time teaching this, so bear with me. We're gonna come up, find that boat pose. We're gonna reach back to those ankles. Inhale, lift the head and the heart, look forward and up. Kick into the hands, lift the thighs. We're gonna inhale, exhale, come forward, kick into the hands, point the toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, lift. You're rocking on the front hip and pubic bone. Kick it. Three, two, last one. Release the legs and hands in front of you. Turn the head. Relax for a moment. That's a little bit from the low mid back.
One more breath in. Inhale, look forward. Turn your toes under, do one push up, and you find yourself in a plank. Pull the lower abs in. You're gonna lift right leg, point the toes back, press like you're gonna hit the wall, push forward, flex down. Left leg lift, heel up, point the toes, press. You get a heel stretch on the right, press forward with the right toes, flex the left foot, drop. A lot of little nuances. Keep your abdominals lifted, a little bit of marching with the feet, a little bit of a quad stretch, sorry, calf stretch. Pull those abs in, press into the mat with the hands. Left side, point the toes back, press, back, inhale, press, back, inhale, point, press, inhale, point, press, inhale, point, press, last set, inhale, point, press, inhale, point, press, drop the knees, coming into child's pose. Exhale, breath. One more breath in. Inhale, come up. Drop your hips, bring your legs around. We're going into leg circles, so I'm going to give myself a little more range from my wall. So if you have a wall right next to you, make sure you have a good amount of space. Rolling onto the back, knees into chest, extend the legs, hands next to the hips. You're going to keep that left leg stationary. Inhale, open the right leg to the side, halfway. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, left leg out. Exhale, in center. Alternate view. Inhale, that right leg out. Left leg stays. Bring it back in. Hello, inner thigh. Hello, outer thigh. Left, right, shaky legs. Last one on the left, last one on the right. Drop that left leg, ground the heel, point the right toes, small circle. Either direction, we will go in both. Inhale as you cross over or go out, and then exhale, finish the last bit of the circle. So it's like inhale, half circle, exhale, full circle. Small circle, so the dinner plate, and reverse. Exhale, the last bit. Inhale, beginning. Exhale, ending. So you feel those abdominals pulling the leg back in at the end. Take a little break, pull that knee in, squeeze the knee towards the chest, compressing that hip, relax the foot. We got small, medium, and then our nice large circles with a good range of motion. So keep the hip. Low back, neutral. Inhale across. This is a medium sized circle about the length of, or size of the yoga ball. Exhale, pull that back in. Point the toes. Inhale. Exhale. That left leg can be rounding the heel back of the thigh into the floor. Two. One, and reverse. Inhale out, exhale around, back to the start point. Pull that knee in, compress the hip. 
Relax the left leg. Big circles. Here we go. Extend that leg up. This time the hip is free to move. Cross over midline. So this hip is going to come off the floor. Point down towards the toes. That's our first inhale. Exhale. Wide. Inhale. Roll the hip. Overreach. Exhale. Pull the hip back down. Come back to center. Just three more. Really controlled in the leg. Rounded in the left side. One, and we reverse direction out to the side. Roll the femur. When does the hip bone have to roll in its socket as you come out? Cross over the midline to come back neutral. Two more. Last one. Exhale, pull the knee in, squeeze in the hip, compress the joint, and switch side. Left leg coming up, right leg's gonna ground into the floor. Point the toes in small circles. About the size of a dinner plate. Inhale, half, exhale, rest. Inhale through the mouth, or sorry, through the nose. Exhale, blow out through a straw. Five, four, three, two, one, and reverse. That right hip is moving around and rocking, pull the abs in. Pull more in on each exhale. Three, two, one. Pull the knee in towards chest, pull it towards that shoulder, compress the hip, relax that right leg, give it a wiggle, and then ground the right heel again, extend the left leg, medium circles. Cross over midline towards the right. Inhale, find that point down, exhale. Finish the circle. Inhale. Exhale. Medium circle. Three, two, one. Reverse. Out to the side, back into the line. Notice what other tensions are cascading through the body, maybe the shoulders, maybe the neck, maybe the hip. See if you can isolate it. Maybe you need to slow it down. My left leg is not as smart as my right leg. And so my whole body tries to compensate and gets kind of windy. See what you can maintain. Keep a neutral spine, stable pelvis. Three, two, one. Pull that knee into the chest, squeeze into the shoulder, compress for a breath. Inhale. Exhale. Last set, large circle. Cross over to the right. Let the left hip release from the floor. Inhale, point to the toes. Exhale, pull it around. Inhale. We're going to do five of each large circle. Nice and controlled, slow. Can you round out the harsher edges? Two. Last one on this. And reverse. Inhale, out. Exhale, round it back. Inhale, out. Exhale, round it back. When does that femur bone have to rotate? Just like in our clam and leg extend on our side leg series, when do you need to incorporate the external rotation to keep the stability 
mobility. Last one. Cross over the right leg, midline. Exhale, pull it back. Bend that knee, squeeze it in. Pull the opposite knee in. Reach up, pull the forearms around the knees. Find this little ball shape. Release the toes. And we're gonna do a little rolling like a ball. Inhale, come up. Sorry, exhale, come up. Hover the feet over the floor. Holding on that C shape. Inhale, roll back. Just to the upper back, not onto the neck. We pull the chin in to support and protect. Exhale the abs. As you come back in, inhale back. It takes a long time to really get a nice line with the spine. We're not going off to the right. It's like a way to be S curve. So play with what you have. Exhale, hold it here. Extend your legs long, roll down. Bend your knees. And going into teaser. Extend your right leg, bring it back down. Extend your left, bring it back down. A little warm up and cool down. Alternating extension flexion, knee. And then bring your legs together. If you want to take both legs, toe tap. Thighs stay the same, it's just the knees and ankles moving. See if you can hold that shape. A little bit of prep for our teaser, and then bring the legs straight up, neutral spine. Legs come down. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale those abs in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, rise. You top of the shins, and you can hold here. Roll down. Inhale, arms up overhead. Circle the arms to the side. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, the whole front body together. Exhale, grab the thighs. Bend the knees. Roll the spine down. Extend the legs. Arms up overhead. Circle, sweep. Inhale, lift. Exhale, everything up. Catch the thighs. Bend the feet. Roll the spine down. Feel that scoop. Inhale, arms up. Legs extend. Arms out to the side, exhale, last teaser, hold it up. Hold the thighs, bend the knees, and come up. We're going for our last set of Pilates, open leg rocker. Extend that right leg. You're really gripping the backs of the thigh, pulling the thigh up towards the chest, pulling the chest towards the thigh. I am not good at open leg rocker, but we're gonna try it. So a little prep now, both legs extend. Can you balance on those sit bones? Rolling like a ball is a little prep, so really find that C shape. Extend the legs out, inhale, roll back. Exhale, forward, you can bend the knees here. And as you come up and balance, can you extend the legs longer? Inhale back, not onto the neck. Pull the chin in to protect. Keeping the C curve. Inhale back. Exhale, hold. One more. Inhale back. See if you can keep the legs long. One more. And cross the ankles. Hands in front, jump back, coming onto all fours. And we're moving into downward facing dog. Sit the hips, reach the hips up. And take a little walk with the legs. We really focus a lot on legs. Most of us, I am assuming, are sitting, not getting a lot of 
rounding into our feet, knees and hips. Three, two, one. Drop the knees, take them wide, child's pose. Take a rest, forehead to the mat. Gently roll the forehead side to side. Thread the left shoulder through the right for threading needle. With a twisting, passive, open stretch to the end. Switch sides. Letting the breath flow freely. Release the right shoulder. Release all the weight into the earth. And bring yourself back center. Arms out, stretch in front of you. Forehead to the mat. Bend your elbows coming into reverse prayer so the thumbs kind of come to the back of the neck, fingers pointing down towards the hips. Here we honor our practice. Here we absorb all of the effort. We thank our bodies for being able to move. Able to sweat, the lungs able to breathe. We are alive. Raise the hands. Inhale, lift up. Coming to all fours. And just find an easy seat. Taking in a couple breaths. 